Well, it's been a crazy year of ups and downs, and we're not just talking about COVID. There were plenty of big wins and losses for our local sports teams. KCTV 5's Neil Jones is counting them down in tonight's top five. The number five story of the year is all the big soccer news here in Kansas City. From Sporting KC's run into the second round of the playoffs to the kickoff of our new women's franchise, soccer made headlines this year. The city's World Cup bid got a big boost by hosting Team USA in the CONCACAF Gold Cup. The United States on the board! And that was followed up by the news that Kansas City will have the first soccer stadium devoted to a women's team. And then finally, we had that club rebranded as the Kansas City Current. It was quite a year. Number four, Salvi's record-breaking season. The Royals catcher led the majors in RBIs with 121, and his 48 homers tied him for the top spot in that category. Salvador Perez hits it off the facing of the upper deck. And oh yeah, he was also baseball's best defensive catcher. Ranking number one in throwing runners out and in fielding percentage. No wonder he won the silver slugger for his hitting and the gold glove for his fielding. And along the way, he shattered the Royals' single season home run record. And that is into the bleachers for number 31. It is perhaps the greatest individual season in Royals history. Certainly right up there next to George Brett's MVP year. Number three, the Chiefs 2021 season. It began in up and down fashion with the offense sputtering and the defense struggling. At that point, about the only thing that Andy Reid's team led the NFL in was turnovers. But after their three and four starts, the Chiefs turned it around, ripping off eight straight wins including dramatic come-from-behind victories. Kelsey, good night, touchdown! And now Patrick Mahomes and company are once again battling for the top spot in the AFC and are considered among the favorites to reach the Super Bowl. What a comeback. Number two, conference realignment. Texas and Oklahoma's decision to jump from the Big 12 to the SEC made national headlines this summer and left the remaining Big 12 schools to wonder what their future would be. Would Kansas be invited to jump to the Big 10? And would Kansas State end up in the Mountain West? But in the days after that July 21st bombshell news, Big 12 Commissioner Bob Bowlesby, backed up by the remaining eight athletics directors, started the process that eventually brought four new teams into the league. So the waters are calm again, at least for now. And to top it off, KU shocked Mighty Texas in the season's biggest upset. And our number one sports story of 2021 is the Chiefs' Super Bowl 55 defeat. I know, it's something we'd rather forget. But playing in the country's biggest single-day sports event is going to make headlines. In this case, bad headlines. Playing without his starting offensive tackles, Patrick Mahomes was on the run all night. And the Chiefs' defense, thanks in part to some questionable refereeing, was unable to stop the Bucks and their quarterback. Whose name will not appear in this story. Why do we have two of him up? The only good news is that he's still playing. And with a little luck, the Chiefs will get a chance to avenge last season's Super Bowl loss in this season's Super Bowl. Hopefully, this will be the top story of 2022. I'm Neil Jones, and that's this week's Top 5.